Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're safe and well because, of course, that is the most important thing. Now, it's a bit dark this morning because it's raining and you can tell it's a bit chilly up here where we are at uh, 1,100 feet above sea level. Just taking Isla, our younger dog, for a walk and it rained on us. Only a little, but enough to make it really chilly. And there's a chilly northerly breeze. The joys of British summertime, hey? Anyway, um, sorry, I'll just alter that a little bit. That's better. Um, where are we today? Well, the first thing is, you're probably aware if you're in the UK and dealing with REACH that there's a consultation going on about whether the deadline should be extended. Only a cynic would suggest this would be to make sure that most of the REACH data is available for free for UK companies. But who am I to uh, try and interpret the HSE and DEFRA's um, thinking? But if that is the reason, then good on them. Anyway, I digress. I'll just put a link to the impact assessment here. Uh, thanks to Steve Brennan, who shared it on LinkedIn. Um, and I've had to put a, I've had to put it on our website because I couldn't find the actual link on the .gov.uk website. So apologies. Right. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is more to do with uh, the way in which I'm passionate about you know, natural does not equal safe necessarily. There's such a lot of rubbish going around about, oh, yes, you know, CBD oil or, oh, this is an essential oil. It's going to be good for you. No, it's likely to have numerous allergens and it's going to be very strong if it's uh, not in a carrier oil and you need to deal with it very safely. Anyway, came across an absolutely excellent one minute or so video on LinkedIn from a lady who is, uh, let me just pick this up. There we are, Jen Novakovic who is running a, a sort of almost one woman campaign about getting science into cosmetics and explaining the science behind it. Um, and it, it's a really excellent video, which in my view could literally be sent out as an advert, um, both online and in the mainstream media to explain to people, you know, just because it's natural doesn't make it safe. Uh, and I'm just putting that below this video now. And you know I can't type right and speak at the same time. There we are. Press send. There. Now that should be going below this video now. Um, so that's okay. So the third thing was the two Ronnies. What have we got in our reasons to be cheerful slot? And the answer is... We've got a very funny thing, it's actually from one Ronnie, it's from Ronnie Barker, and it's on TV symbols. Whoops, can't even spell symbols this morning. And it wasn't one that I'd seen before, and it's very good. So there you are, that's just gone below this video again. So whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a good day. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Um, if you're off on holiday, have a lovely time. Have a good rest because we're all working really hard at the moment. I'm sure, you know, some of us need a rest. Um, I certainly feel like it. But I, I know that some of my LinkedIn contacts have um, been ill lately. And I wonder if that's because as business owners, we push ourselves so very, very hard sometimes. So if you are poorly, whether you're a business owner or not, I hope you I hope you take enough time to rest and recover. So take care of yourselves and I hope to chat to you again next week.